My name is Jared Fulker. Uh, I'm from Hamilton, Michigan. My name is David Pivik. Uh, I'm from Grand Rapids. My name is Nathan Buckabee. I'm from Holland, Michigan. Uh, my name is Eric Spindler. I'm from Chicago. My name is Rock Phelps. I'm from Lowell, Michigan. I was, I guess, my initial reaction may have been curiosity. What is an African's spearhead? There's a lot of different forms that can be taken. Uh, long, short, thick, thin, wide, narrow. Um, and then not only that, but details. So my roommate and I actually put together a design, a few designs with, uh, it was almost like a trident, whereas it was the spear point and then it was uh, two points here to be like the GBSU Lakers to be more sailor oriented. Uh, we went to some professors um, who kind of knew a bit about uh, African history and whatnot. And we got to learn a whole bunch about, uh, you know, especially Maasai. And we, we get to meet with actual Maasai elders from Kenya. If you had told me a couple of years ago, I'd have an interview with a Maasai elder about what makes a good spirit, I'm not sure I would have believed you. Spear is not just simply for utility or for war, it's also status in the Psy culture. Kapila said only a blacksmith can make a spear. A blacksmith puts a piece of himself in his work. So that included putting the GVSU logo on the socket um, and casting a anchor on the socket, uh, as well as a extruded rope. That's what cohorts do. They take the rules that have been established in Maasai culture, but they also like to fit it to their own cohort. Well, in our cohort, Grand Valley, we want to show not only the best, but also what makes us stand out. We went to um, Eagle Alloy Foundry in Muskegon, and we had, you know, all this preparation, all this uh, design put together, we had a final design. Historically, mild steel was widely used. We decided to use a 1045. Now, making it, we didn't have the right content. We had to add more carbon. To do that, we would have to weigh what do we have in the crucible, and then the carbon that we would need to add to it. And I would pour it in the heated up steel. Learning more about the foundry, uh, and the, the cast industry, and them helping out um, with technical stuff that would see fit into our project and has helped me grow a lot in this expertise.